And I have some vision loss simulators that we're going to pass around. I have enough for two rows at a time, so if you will take one and pass it down, and then when you're finished with one row, pass it to the row behind you. Um, if you're living with this, like I said, this is all very uh, familiar. Fuchs is a progressive vision loss that happens in both eyes, and it's usually classified as foggy or cloudy vision or blurry vision. And many people complain about halos around light, starbursts, things like that. The vision can fluctuate greatly depending on the level of illumination, so people can be either helped by light or hurt by light. I saw a couple of ladies wearing visors. Uh, and a couple of you in the audience I can see in the back row. I know exactly why you're wearing those. Um, and so we're going to talk a lot about lighting in a few minutes. Debilitating glare is really the main manifestation uh, that I deal with clinically. And as I mentioned, sometimes you need more light to see well for specific tasks that have fine detail like reading. But indirect light can have a blinding effect, so headlights at night or light coming through a window uh, when you're trying to focus on a task in your home. Not only does this make you see worse, it can actually cause physical discomfort. So there are many types of functional challenges that a Fuchs patient will experience. Reading and writing can be difficult because of the loss of contrast, especially uh, printed materials on recycled paper like newspapers, phone books, novels. The white paper is not a bright light, as you know, it's kind of a dingy color. And the, pin, uh, the print contrast, the darkness of the print in the newspaper is only 75 percent. It's not 100 percent black. So as Dr. Carlson mentioned this morning, you're looking at a 100 percent black letter on our eye chart with a 100 percent white background. So that's very artificial. Those are not the types of things you're looking at in the real world. Performing daily activities can be difficult. We'll talk about that specifically. Um, safe mobility, meaning walking around um, on steps, curbs, different things like that, and especially driving. And the, my slide here shows kind of what headlights at night can look like if you have a corneal problem. So let's first talk about reading and writing and some of the things we could do to help. Reading ability is impacted by two things. Your ability to resol resolve fine detail, which we call visual acuity, and your ability to see lightness against darkness, which we call contrast sensitivity. Magnification can be used for people that have difficulty resolving fine detail because it will make things larger so that you can see the detail more easily. Before I go on, is there anyone in this room by show of hands that has Fuchs dystrophy and another eye problem like macular degeneration, glaucoma, diabetes, or something else? Okay, great. So if you ha are unfortunate enough to have two things,